I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I went down to Heritage Company yesterday. I like to stop in because they always get new stuff in every day and you want to check out to make sure you get there before the other guy gets it all. While I was there, I ran across this little thing. I call these egg beater drills. Egg beater drills because they look like the old fashioned kind of egg beater. These were the cordless drill of their day. They're very nice because they run fairly fast. Good for drilling small holes. The smaller the diameter of the bit, the faster you want it to turn. And this one also has a couple of unique features. It has this little pawl on it. Similar to what you'd find on a Yankee screwdriver. The Yankee screwdriver only has forward and reverse. This has five positions. This top one is called plane. The next one down is left hand ratchet. The next one down from that is right hand ratchet. Then down below that is right hand double. And just below that is lock. So when you put it in plane, it acts like any other drill. You crank the handle and the bit goes forward. Need to give it a little shot of oil. Should have done that before I even started. Now when I first put the oil on, it's going to drip all over the place. Much happier now. I'm going to give it a shot down in the chuck too. They are usually in need of it. Showing a little wear. I think I need to address that wear issue because that's letting the crank become disengaged from the gears. Okay, that's in plane. Now if I click it down to left hand ratchet, It only operates in reverse. You try and go forward, it just spins free. If I put it down in right hand, ratchet. It only drives forward. Then if I put it in right hand double, this is the cool part. No matter which direction I spin it, the drill spins clockwise. That means it's always going forward. So let's see if we can help this little guy with its wear problem. One of the difficulties with this kind of drill is the body is made of die cast. The gear is steel, but the body is made of die cast. So this steel can wear on that die cast, and make it thinner. Now this is what's called a shoulder bolt. 
it's supposed to go down and when that shoulder hits the stop that makes it so that this becomes a pin it doesn't let it move anymore you can tighten this bolt down first thing I'm going to do is check and make sure that the shoulder is seating completely down on the part and that's seating all the way down now we're going to check and make sure that the gear is not worn because this edge can wear too all that comes from a lack of oil That got rid of a lot of the wobble. Quite a bit of wear on that. Well, that tightened up the gears quite a bit, but I still got some wear in there. Didn't make up for the wear on the gear itself. Mounting die cast tends to load up the file quite a bit. And this is something Dave Chadwick taught me. He uses something called French chalk when he's filing aluminum or soft metal. French chalk is something that you can buy in England quite easily. I looked it up and French chalk is talc. And another thing that's talc is soapstone. And these little markers that I use to mark out for uh, welding and using the cutting torch are made of soapstone. So we're going to give that a shot.
works. File doesn't load up anywhere near as much. And what is in there comes right out. Now without it, I get quite a bit of pinning. So I'm going to keep a little bit of that on the bench just for the times that I want to use the file working on aluminum or any other soft metal. Copper tube does a really good job on the pinning too. The, anything that the file card doesn't get out, copper tube does. Took a bit of work, but things are spinning okay now. I gotta do some work on this chuck. Okay, we'll dip into the chuck tomorrow. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. I think before I can do the chuck, I've got to go check that tire.